One afternoon, I had a chance to kind of walk down the street from where the office was, and I walked into a shop that had Oriental art in it, and I was looking at the art, and there was a photograph on the wall just as I walked out of a, of a very weather-beaten uh, Himalayan Tibetan face. This man was sitting with his uh, uh, maroon robes on a kind of field with a mountain with snow in the background, and he was obviously... Uh, had been, this was a face that had been out in the wind and the elements, the sun and the snow and the rain for a long, long, long time. A very battered, experienced, been around for a long time face, but with the eyes of, uh, of a child, of, uh, of, uh, of, of life, of, uh, of aliveness. <laughs> shining out through this incredibly weather-beaten face. And I was really taken with the photograph. I knew the man whose shop I was in, and I said to Don that I'd like to have the photograph, but I'd really like to know who took the photograph. It was really a great photograph. And I not only wanted the photograph, but I'd like to find a way to get the rights to use the photograph because I was so taken with it, I wanted to give it as a gift to other people. Would he please try to find out who it was who took the photograph? So he said he would try to find out, but he didn't think he could. He'd gotten it from somebody who'd gotten it from somebody who'd gotten it from somebody, and it was kind of the source of it was lost. So, fine, he said he would try. And I went to the training that weekend, and I was in the midst of doing the training, <clears throat> and uh, this man stood up back over in there someplace. We were in the Jack Tar Hotel, and for those of you who don't know about the Jack Tar Hotel, it's a hotel in San Francisco, and it's probably the most garish thing you've ever seen in your life. It's kind of blue, with, and... and uh, and it's the brick, it's brick, and the bricks are painted blue. Um, and it's got the most, <laughs> it's got the most incredible plastic fixtures, lighting fixtures that you've ever seen. It's strange. <laughs> At any rate, this man stood up and he said, you know, I have literally been around the world three times attempting to discover myself or to get it or to become enlightened. He said, I've trekked back into the Himalayas where no Western people have ever been. Uh, back uh, into the Himalayas uh, where it's politically impossible to go, as a matter of fact, and where there are Tibetan monks and Tibetan lamas who've escaped from Tibet when the uh, communist takeover happened. And these are people who simply don't interact with people from the West at all. And I have been there, and I have been up in the mountains, and I have been in the desert, and I have been absolutely every place. And I want you to know that tonight I am really annoyed, because I have been in the most beautiful, most sacred places in the universe, and I'm sitting here under these damn plastic chandeliers in this strange hotel, and I have the feeling that I am going to get it here, and that annoys me. <laughs> So, I, so <laughs> I told the man that, that it was interesting that he should talk about that because I'd just been in the shop where I bought a photograph that I really loved of, uh, and obviously the rest of the story is plain. He was the photographer who had taken that photograph and he said, please have it as my gift and I did give it to lots and lots and lots of people. It's a, it's a very beautiful photograph.